Brett and I went backpacking for three months in Europe. Um, and we basically made a circle from Spain to France in about nine countries. And um, if any of you have ever traveled like this, you know that the entire thing is, is a God experience. <laughs> but um, you also discover that you put a lot of faith in uh, the kindness of strangers. So um, one of our, in about the middle of our trip, we were in a very small town outside of Heidelberg, Germany. And um, we had just finished walking through the town that my family is originally from. And uh, we were looking for the train station, and we got completely lost. <laughs> um, and we were literally in a one-cow town. So um, we're just kind of wandering around, wondering how we're going to get to uh, our next destination. And this woman comes up, and she just literally sweeped us up and said, my auto, my auto. And Brett and I were looking at each other like, ooh. <laughs> um, do we want to get in a stranger's car? <laughs> and she kept saying that she would, basically with her hand movements, because we speak very little Deutsch, um, that she would take us to the correct train station. So um, Brett and I looked at each other and we said, well, God, if this is our last day together, then this will be a good story. So anyway, we, we got we got in her car, her, her van, which was even a little creepier, but, um, and she took us to a train station about 20 minutes away, um, and there we walked under the platform, and we walked and sat down on a bench, and we were sitting there and going, okay, and all of a sudden we hear this, ar, 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 screaming of some kind of German woman, and, and we were like, Ooh, okay, here we go again, and this woman, this very, very, very old woman, comes walking up the steps, um, she actually had kind of a beard, <laughs> she, and, uh, and she was just screaming, uh, you know, voice to spice up hugging or something, <laughs> something like that, and um, we said, no, no, schweigen sie Deutsch, and uh, she sat down next to us, and she goes, so where are you from? <laughs> Um, and come to find out, uh, she actually sat with us the whole three-hour train ride, practically. She's 96 years old. Um, during the beginning of uh, when Hitler took over Germany, she actually fled with her mother to northern Germany, um, and she secretly learned English. And then during World War II, she um, was a translator for the American army outside of Strasbourg, Germany. Um, secretly, of course, at a library, and she was on this train by herself going for cancer treatment. Um, and, you know, it's just, I could go on and on about these people we met, but um, it's, there's no doubt in my mind that God puts certain people, especially in your travels like this, along the way to, to change your life. So, anyway, that was one of our God experiences, so.